I take it you never had couscous? It's pretty good. I like it. Couscous? What? I don't know. Hey! Look at that! We got a new monkey. Also got some new pipe stands. These are courtesy of Miss Sue Dunhill. Sue, your sweetheart. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do all that, but I'm happy to I'm happy to expand the monkey family. And that's where he's gonna be hanging out from now on. And hello to all of you. Uh people right there, you know, YouTube pipe community members. Now, the purpose of this video is we're going to be we're going to be cracking open a, a, a tin of tobacco that I've never had before. And the tobacco we're going to be doing is this one. Savinelli Dabloon or Dablon Doro, which means gold coin, I guess. Gold doubloons, gold coin. The description on the back, you can see it's pretty wordy, and it's from June 2014, so you know. It's got some age on it. So you know, it's got some age on it. Uh, it says it's got the choicest Virginias, Burleys, and dark-fired Kenyan leaf are enhanced with an impeccable addition of spicy Perique, then aged to perfection before being spun into enticingly beautiful zesty coins a delightfully vivacious and flavorful smoke. Holy crap, that's a lot of adjectives, all right? Uh, uh, let's hope it lives up to its name. So this, and I've heard it does. I know Achilles has smoked this before. He says it's good. It's a seven, it's a Savinelli pipe tobacco, so I'm gonna smoke it in my Savinelli uh, pipe, bent whatever <laughs> you'd swear it was a peterson but it ain't it's a savinelli so uh we're gonna be cracking this thing open and i've already got a a mason jar ready to receive uh, the tobacco so let's go to the garage right it didn't work right now it worked we're in the garage it didn't really work. I just turned off the camera and walked in here. It's not real magic. Don't be stupid. All right. So we're here. Uh, got my pipe. So we're gonna we're gonna break into this thing. I'm not really worried about mangling the the tin. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a look at this stuff. We're gonna get a smell. Here we go. There was a seal on that. So we are in. Now, it's not real gold coins. It's actually tobacco that has been spun into to what looks like coins. But I'm sure you knew that because you're not stupid. So, all right, so let's have a look at this. Um, lighting, you can see. That's basically what's in there. These little little coins. A lot smaller than say you would get in a Scudo or Peter Stokeby's luxury bullseye flake. Alright, and then yeah, there's a lot and a lot of it's loose. And it is quite dry. I wouldn't say it's bone dry, but this thing is pro this stuff's probably not gonna require any any drying time. Hmm. You get... It smells like tobacco. It smells sweet. You get sweet, you get the dark fruits, and you get a little bit of spice. So I guess that's the perique. Um, but, you know, it's, it's just not... It's not as pungent as you would expect from, like, a fresh tin of tobacco. So... No, we're gonna find out now. We're gonna we're gonna stop it, and then I'm gonna load up a pipe and try it. Hmm. Well, look at that! 
Miss Savinelli thinks it's a Peterson. <laughs> hmm. Well, Savinelli's doubloon Doro. All right, so it it packed really easily. I didn't even have to break up any of the of the coins. There was enough loose. It was already kind of broken up somewhat in the tin. So just grabbed a bunch in there, stuffed it in there. It took a light really well. It's tamping pretty good. Hmm. And, uh, the, the taste. Of course, this is the most important part. Now, my understanding, it's a Virginia Perique, and it's got some of these dark-fired uh, tobaccos in there. So, it tastes like that. <laughs> uh, I'm still kind of having a hard time differentiating between the tastes. I'll tell you, there are some, there is some sweetness in here. As you would expect from a Virginia. And... I'm definitely getting the peppery notes from the Perique. And having had a, a number of, of Virginia Perique blends, uh, this one is pretty enjoyable. Uh, you get quite a bit in the tin. This is going straight to the jar. This is definitely going to be worth uh, exploring, getting to know this, this tobacco, it really, it behaves quite a, it, it behaves really well, which says a lot. So, so I'm just going to be here. I'm going to be smoking this uh, pipe tobacco. I got my iPad, my iPad here. I'll be watching videos. Oh, hey, a roast more coffee. <laughs> yeah. I'm out here, might as well. So yeah. Uh, this is basically a just a first impression of the blend. I'm sh I know the, the flavor is going to develop as I smoke it down. But, uh, you know, a, char a match for a charring light and then a match to get it started. And that's all I've used on it so far. For me, that's pretty good. So I will be looking forward to smoking more of this. So, well, and as a side note, I've uh, given control of beard care to the lady that cuts my hair. She, her husband has a beard, and so she trims it. Uh, it was just getting out of hand. You know, it, it takes a little bit more than beard oil to, to properly maintain a beard. Some would say it's more challenging than maintaining up here, and it certainly has been the case for me. So, look all right? I don't know. This light's terrible. So, um, that's it. I'm going to smoke this pot and I'm going to roast some coffee and that's it. So thank you. If you, if you stuck around this long, uh, you're okay in my book. If you didn't, if you didn't stick around and you're not watching this right now, well then I can call you anything I want because you're not watching, but I won't. Because even if you don't see this video, I still like you. Drop my matches. Mm. All right. I got to go pick up my matches. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Smell my beard. Hi. Huh?